What is it guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going we are going to be going over the new Bounty Hunter Mastery. And as you've seen before by my yes by yesterday's video, I taught you how to get Bounty Hunter and the Mastery. Now we're going to be going over both the like what the abilities do and how to beat the boss are basically like some tips and tricks. Okay, so basically the E ability, which is the one to the far left, used on my front here. If you use the E Hello. ability, then I missed. Uh, that, <laughs> you, you didn't see anything, okay? Anyways, shut up. Anyways, so you aim it at him, and then you shoot him. So it's basically a gun. Alright, so basically a gun that also ricochets, I'm pretty sure. Hey. Yeah, that ricochets and then and then it evaporates or goes away when it hits somebody or your target. And then instead of like with normal mastery or with normal um, bounty hunter, we have to like put on the bounties on people like with ability. It's automatically signed to the one person you're bountied on or who's your target, as you can see with like the one punch. And then if you kill them, then you get that one punch. Kind of like how normal mastery does, or normally better than yours. And the Q ability is a net trap, which makes them slower, so then you can combo. And then, ow. Yes. The R ability is. So basically, it turns on your night vision goggles, and you can see, like, what ability they have. And, like, since he has default, then it just shows default. But if he had, like, um,. Malice, and it would show Malice, then E cooldown if I had like 2.5, and then Q like 4.9. So basically it just gives, um, like the notification, it just gives you the stats of what, um, like stats they have on both their ability and like their cooldowns and stuff. So now we're going into the part about the tips and tricks for beating the engineer, Matt. Or defeating the um, inventor boss. All right, in the bounty hunter boss fight. So his first ability, his first attack is spawning a minion, which blows up when it's punched, and you can basically strafe around it or move around it. And then, what I suggest you do is you bait him off the edge, like this. Because he, um, instead of like the normal attack where it's like, it just directly on someone, and then it, and then they have to fall off. So then you can do that, or you could just like move around them a couple times. But the only problem with that is you might get falled off, or fell off, and with that, and then he throws the wrenches, which are easy to avoid if you just move around them. But you can also punch him to get him away. When he's about to explode, then this one, you just have to punch all of them until the real one shows up, and then you just uh, punch, and then he uses that to move away, and then he spawns his friend, and then we can punch him off, and then, uh, and then, and then what I suggest you do for punching him is just move around him while you do it. This is, and then you can also body block them and get some extra damage off. And then for these, it's just you have to kind of like the um, oh, the goo basically um, slows it stun it like slows you down and and passively harms you. And then for the um, carts that he spawns, it basically like the wrenches but with a bigger hitbox. So just do what um, I do and just stay away from them and then just um, keep on avoiding the attacks and it's pretty easy. Yeah, and then he moves away. And then, yeah, because when you, because when these in the um, later stages of damage, um, yeah, with this, then you can jump over them, the carts because they're more lower to the ground instead of being higher up. And that's where the hitbox is at. Oh yeah, and then he has the um, spring that he uses as mobility to get him from. And then the mushroom uh, 
bomb thing is is basically like a shotgun, but instead of shooting it directly at you, he shoots it above, kind of like the um, kind of like a bucket. So he has a bucket full of mushrooms, which he uses to attack you. Which I suggest you do is try and um, like strafe and try and get farther away because then it's harder for him to attack you. Alright, because they don't... So whenever he does it, just move to the left is the best advice I can give. Because... Or try to get closer, because he normally doesn't attack near him. Because you have, like, a bit of wiggle room when you're near him. And also just move to the left while you're... while he's doing it, so then you won't get hit at all. And then... I'm, I'm pretty sure... No, he has two more. Oh! I just... Uh, you didn't see that. I uh, totally didn't just die. Um, totally. Definitely. Uh, cut to me when I didn't die. Alright, um, back to around where I was. So, side note, um, the carts, like the engineer carts they throws, do so much damage, it is not even funny. Like, I was at half, and like, one hit got me to that part. Like, I don't know if that's because I hit it, like, multiple times, or if I'm just bad, but normally, it... ...recording, and then just cut to when... So I can still talk right out. now. Because the, um... Because the mech is really hard to get, like, an opening for. I'm just gonna disconnect from your game, because there's literally no point in being in there at this point. Because it's quite hard, because it's a giant mech. around him and yeah because you have enough time to get out of there oh, okay so around eight percent then he gets a what the freak okay so basically he gets a giant mega cannon laser thing and basically he's really easy because you can just mess with the, mess with his ai so basically all you have to do is you can jump over it and then you have to do is just strafe around to the back of him and then punch him and then yeah, that's how you beat. All, that's how you beat um, the inventor, and you get the. Um, that's how you get the bounty hunter mastery. And it does not count in private servers, but if you join like a really low server with like two or three people in it, then you can get to the area, and it's pretty easy. If you just follow the tutorial, which is just like dodging all of his moves with like the like the help that I gave you, and yeah, this is just like the moves of Bounty Hunter's mastery and how to beat the inventor. There's no like really easy, easy like cheese way to beat him because his attacks are random. I'm pretty sure, but um, after some intervals. Like, he just, like, only does, like, one or two attacks. Because I know one is where he does, like, the slime attack and then, like, wrenches and then the um, mushrooms and the um, wrenches if you get too close to them. But, yeah, that's just how, like, all, that's all the moves of Defend, or not Defender, um, Bounty Hunter Mastery and how to beat the Inventor. And, yeah. I hope you I hope you I hope this helps you and bye